हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई सुदीप यादव इज हियर विद फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फर्स्ट पार्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज द फोटोसिंथेसिस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू यू कैन सी हियर द हैडिंग फ्रॉम द हैडिंग यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट फोटोसिंथेसिस फोटोसिंथेसिस मीन्स फूड मैकिंग प्रोसेस इन प्लांट्स so let's start the process of making of food by green plants in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is known as the photosynthesis so this is the photosynthesis photosynthesis is the combination of two words that is photo plus synthesis photo means light and synthesis means to make so this is the photosynthesis process of food making in green plants green plants make their food themselves green leaves make food from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll hence for taking place of photosynthesis carbon dioxide water and sunlight must be reached at the green leaves in addition to presence of chlorophyll so that is the reason behind it uh green leaves are also known as the food factory of the plant next leaves have several tiny pores like structures on its lower surface this is called stomata through which leaves absorbs carbon dioxide from air water is transported to the leaves through hair like pipelines from the roots these pipelines are present throughout the plant that is from roots to branches and leaves these pipelines are known as xylem xylem is a type of tissues chlorophyll a green pigment is found in a green leaves chlorophyll absorbs sunlight and gives energy chlorophyll absorbs sunlight carbon dioxide and water and convert them to carbohydrate and oxygen carbohydrate is used as food and oxygen is emitted out to atmosphere this whole process of making food by plants is called the photosynthesis so in this diagram you can see there is a stomata and there are the structures there are the different different parts of this stomata you can see in this picture next following are the necessary of the photosynthesis to be taken place number first presence of sunlight presence of chlorophyll second third presence of water fourth presence of carbon dioxide so these all are the raw material to form the food to take place the process of the photosynthesis in the plant now next topic that is the photosynthesis in algae green patches in ponds or near the stagnant water can be seen easily these green patches are living organism called algae algae are plants often algae grow near the shallow water logged areas such as near tube wells taps etc one may slip over it algae look green because presence of chlorophyll algae prepare their own food by the process of the photosynthesis so that is the reason behind why why algae are able to form their own food because they having the chlorophyll that is the necessary raw material to for, uh, to do the process of the photosynthesis so now next there is the activity activity number 1.1 to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis so let's see what is the activity take two potted plants of them same kind keep one in sunlight and the other in dark room for 2 to 3 days then take a leaf from both the plants and test for starch put the leaves in a test tube pour some spirit in it and put the test tube in a beaker containing water boil the water 
till all the green color in the leaves comes out into the spirit. Then take the leaves and wash it in water, put the leaves on a dish and pour some iodine solution over it. The leaf of the plant kept in sunlight turns blue black. The leaf of the plant kept in the dark doesn't turn blue black. So this shows that sunlight is necessary for this photosynthesis process. Next, synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrate. Plant need proteins and fats besides the carbohydrate. Proteins are nitrogenous compounds or the substances which contain nitrogen although nitrogen is present in the absence in the abundance in atmosphere but plant cannot absorb atmospheric nitrogen plant gets nitrogen from the soil certain types of bacteria called rhizobium are present in soil they convert gaseous nitrogen into usable form and release release it into the soil plants absorb these soluble forms of nitrogen along with water and other minerals through the through their roots sometimes farmers add nitrogenous fertilizers to their field to fulfill the need of the nitrogen if there is a deficiency of the nitrogen in the soil so the, at that time we have to be use the fertilizers in this way plant gets fulfillment of nitrogen along with other nutrients after the fulfillment of all nutrients plants synthesize proteins and fats next modes of nutrition in non green plants or heterotrophic mode of nutrition in plants we have already discussed it in this chapter in the previous video some plants do not have chlorophyll hence they cannot synthesis synthesize their food by themselves such plant are known as non green plants they depend on other organisms for food such plants use the heterotrophic mode of nutrition because they are having the no chlorophyll so at that time they are dependent to the other one for their food some of them are called parasite a parasite is an organism this is the definition of for the parasite okay a parasite is an organism which lives on or inside the body of the another organism and takes shelter and food from that organism the host in this case is always at loss plants that do not have chlorophyll are called non green plants plants which live on other plants for food are called the parasitic plants so these are the parasitic plants which are totally dependent on the other one okay so that is the parasitic plants now next heterotrophic mode of nutrition because in the previous slide we have seen the word that is the heterotrophic mode of heterotrophic nutrition so i uh, i have to discuss here heterotrophic nutrition the word heterotrophic is the combination of two, two words that is the hetero plus trophos hetero means others and trophos means nourishment if organisms depend on other for their food it is called heterotrophic nutrition animals cannot make their food themselves they depend for food upon plants therefore nutrition in plants is called the heterotrophic nutrition animals are known as a heterotrophs you can see in this in this view in these pictures in these pictures there are the different different animals and they are taking their food from the uh, from the plants next insectivorous plant some plants eat insects such plants are called insectivorous plants they trap and digest the insects one of them picture plant is the example of the insectivorous plant in picture plant the leaf is modified to form a picture you have seen the picture what is the picture okay like picture structure the bright color of the picture makes it very attractive to insect inside the picture there are several hair like structures 
are existing inside the picture okay these hairs direct direct the trapped insect downwards when an insect sits on the picture of the plant the lid close closes and the insect get trapped inside the picture the insect is the digested by the enzymes secreted by the cells of the plant so when the any insect will sit on the on the picture of the picture plant so it will be trapped inside the picture next cause of eating of insect by plants what is the reason behind it they, why they are feeding why they are eating insects the soil of marshy land is deficient in nitrogen okay this is the reason plants living in marshy areas do not get nitrogen from the soil their nitrogen need to fulfill by sucking the juice of the insect as you know that animals or the insect having the sufficient quantity of the protein and the basic unit of the proteins are the amino acids and these amino acids having the fundamental units are the nitrogen so this is the reason behind it they have to feed on the insects to fulfill the need of the nitrogen there are the examples venus fly trap utricularia drosera and rafflesia are the other examples of the insectivorous plants so thank you students i hope you must have enjoyed this video thank you students we will meet in the another video with the uh, with the another topic